Welcome to day five. This ends our hunky-dory week of webisodes. Aww. I know it's so sad, but we are doing it with a bang. We have a brand new kit from Hunky Dory called Twilight Kingdom. Now, if that sounds familiar, uh, you're absolutely right. There was an earlier version, but this is the Sunset Edition. So this is different. It is different, and it has a beautiful, enchanted, magical feel uh, to it. Plus, it has shadow boxes. So the colors are different, and the foiling is slightly different, too. We've got plots, lots of problems projects for you. Come, Come play, play with, with us. us. So here is the Twilight Kingdom Sunset Edition. You can see the colors are different. Right, and it's mystical, magical, <laughs> and it's totally beautiful. It is, <laughs> and the inspiration sheet looks like this, so you're seeing lots of ways to use these. And on the back, it's going to walk you through the uh, shadow box cards, and right. we'll show you that I also. love that, the moonlit shadow box card. <laughs> I'd love to show you that one. And there are 157 black foil die cuts right. in this kit. So That's very, a lot of die cuts. It's a lot of die cuts, <laughs> and, and it's all in this shadow uh, silhouette look. So you can see the colors as we flip right. through these. And are you these. seeing the gold foil on there? That's it's it's kind of a glossy gold foil. It's just beautiful. Gold foil. They called it gold foil. It's really? gold on there. Yeah, around the edges and the little um, the silhouettes. They are they call it gold foiling. I can't get here. We go. Uh, to see it's it's shiny it's just a little extra shimmer right where that black is hmm. yeah. okay i do know they've got gold foil on the acetate that's in here we'll get to that shortly so you can see as always lots of die cuts words greetings um things that are going to just complete your projects which is so wonderful right. and really Love mystical <laughs> magical creatures and then we get into the components of the shadow boxes right. so one of these sheets for each of these you're going to be able to make six of the shadow boxes. And here's where I'm seeing the gold foil. Now in the first Twilight Kingdom it was silver. Right. So um, there we go. So these. So for the, the shadow boxes here you're getting the gold so that's an, a nice different look. And you can see that these are printed on both sides which is also which is unique. Which just perfect for that little box. And then you're going to get yeah. six acetate panels, two on each of these sheets. Um, so that you can uh, complete those shadow boxes. Right. Very, very nice. This is fun to use. And then these have some sprinkling right. of... Six. You're actually getting 12 because you're going to use two of these for each box. One has a little extra like fairy dust on it yeah. or stars. Very and nice. I'll show you how to use those. So that's on all of them and they're so, going to pop out easily as right. this one is. You get some envelopes. You get six to go with those boxes. And then we're going into the adorable scorable. And this also, <clears throat> excuse me, eight of them will have the black foiling as the artwork does right so as I flip through these so you can really see that shine on there I just I just love that it's just a yeah. little extra touch it is oh so very fun and lots of oh, ways to use these are just <laughs> gorgeous and that's what's new about this Twilight Kingdom kit the colors are different it really has kind of a sunset look to it now you have eight that have the foiling eight that have printed so this right. is not the uh, shiny not that glossy shine, right right okay but it's still beautiful yeah, and lots is. of ways to use these so we go through them just a couple more that way you see everything. Okay, okay. now projects. What might we do? Well, Let's how take a look. about this? And you can see that background paper with kind of the uh, shadow or the variegated look, and then pulling these apart. And I think these these were all together on one sheet that I just showed right. you. Right, and, and I love that. There's you can actually separate this mm -hmm. and then just pull them apart just a little bit, like you said. Foam tape that centerpiece, and you've got a gorgeous card. And if you wanted to, you could use something different in the center, just use the corners, or spread them wider if you wanted to make a larger sure. card. Sure, I love the little sentiment here, never lose your sparkle. Very nice. So, right. and on the inside, ah, here's the part that was removed That's from right. there. So yes. there, there's a frame, and then there's just a strip of the adorable scorable down the center. May all your wishes come true. Very nice, very pretty. Okay, here is another. And I love this peeking out over the edge I of the card. Too. Going off the edge there, the, the card stock in the back, the adorable scorable, um, placed with those little lanterns hanging down, and uh, that's just a really beautiful look. So this is just a portion of that card stock, two mm -hmm. die cuts, three if you include on the inside. Right. And this has also added the um, 
black jewel border dazzles, which also have the foiling on the edge. It really goes so. perfectly yeah. with this kit. So that's Very a nice pretty. look. I do like wrapping the ribbon around. I want to note that that ribbon is wrapped around just that top layer of cardstock. That way you don't have to see the ribbon yeah. on, on the inside. I mean, well, how would you wrap it through the <laughs> fold anyway, unless you placed a, a, put a hole in your fold, which I've done. Yeah, you could, sure. although uh, it's nice to have it wrapped instead of just trimmed. Right. Here is a, a very fun card. Um, so this is this going is a, to in, interconnect. So an interlocking gatefold yes. card. And that's just a really easy way. It's also been cut down to five inches. So all you have to do is fold your card edges to the center for that gatefold and then just put one of the die cuts on the right hand side and that frame on the left hand and there you go there you go it interlocks perfectly right and again this has the uh, black border dazzles on the edge right very pretty and you're really not using very much of the cardstock that's are you? right and this is it looks like two pieces mm -hmm. but this is just one end of the adorable scoreable just cut and placed I, I like the image on the left side there. right and great. then this is one of the die cuts mm -hmm. as is this one on the front right. with the greeting. I want to note that on the front of this, the, the greeting is foam taped in place, but on the inside, when you open a card like this, it's only a taped or glued flat. Mm. And we do that so that when you close the card, it's going to lay flat. You might have a little extra thickness in the inside. So if you don't like that, if you want it to lay flat, then that's an option. Right. Now, here is that um, very neat uh, shadow box. box. Yeah. It's a moonlit shadow box. And I love that. If you look in the back there, you're going to have to turn it just so without shine, you're going to see the moon back there glowing oh. behind the castle. So I am seeing a couple of layers as right. you were talking about. One so with two, the sparkles. Mm -hmm. Two acetate layers. So let me show you the elements of unless you want to show the back too because it's kind of nice it's kind of nice on the back as well. Ah. I, I like that, that they actually have the gold foiling on the back. You can add an extra little uh, sentiment there and write on the back. Very so, nice. Really okay. fine. So. so here are the elements for that. We've got the, the panel uh, itself, though. Here's that back piece. So we know that's going to be the back. We know the moon is going to be behind all that acetate, so that'll be in the front. This is already scored and ready to fold, and I'm going to pull these up like this. So I'm going to valley fold here, valley fold. If I'm looking on the inside, these are valley folds. And now you've got that tab here, and I went ahead and put ultra tape, or excuse me, extra sticky tape on the edge of that tab. We're going to do the same thing on this side. So I just want that to sort of, I'm going to make the shape that I want. So it's going to sit just like so. And then I pull in my two acetate pieces. Now, the interesting thing about the acetate pieces, the, the ones with the images go on are on one sheet, and the ones with the little sparkles, they're on another sheet. But you can actually match them up. They actually, each one of these is a little bit different. And they're made, I'm going to make sure that I put the gold side up. Because by the way, if you turn them over, they're silver. So you can oh. actually use it way, that way if okay. you want to. But they're intended to go this way because they are scored for where these tabs are. And they are already sort of folded back a little bit. So you know that's the direction that it goes. You know you're going to um, push it back like that. So that's easy to find. But also, way down on the bottom of the tab here, there's a number. It says 3B. And if I look for this uh -huh. acetate piece, I can find um, 3A. So the, match up the number, and then this is A, it goes in the front, and this is B, it goes in the back. And then those little sparkles just fit perfectly around the little kitty and around the little bird. So that's why they do that. Okay, now I've got ultra tape on the backs of these tabs. The tabs for this one are going to fold up toward me. So I'm going to valley fold those, and the tabs on the little kitty are going to fold down. So I'm going to mount and fold those. This will be in the back, so I'll start with the kitty, and I'm going to remove the ultra tape. Really pretty simple. A lot of talking to tell you all of the little <laughs> elements, but once you start putting together. And I'm going to put this all the way in the back. I want it to sit down on the back of that piece. So I'm going to make sure that those tabs sit on the back and line up the top and bottom edges here and then just push these in place. Oh, I bent that back just a little too far so that it wouldn't touch this side panel. 
but I'm making sure it's all the way down. That tab, that I'm, that's what I'm talking about, is all the way down there. It looks like that. And then I'm going to push that side panel in place. That's the first panel. So it's about a quarter, inch, a quarter of an inch away. Then I remove the ultra tape from the other one. Or the extra sticky tape. Right, the extra <laughs> sticky tape, sorry. It's okay. And then this one is going to come all the way up to the front. So when I set it in place, let me do it this way. I'll sort of slide it in here. Hope that it doesn't get stuck on me. And try to keep it up toward the front. It does get, let me, let me do it over <laughs> there. Just forgiving enough, let me start with one panel over here. Put that back in place. I didn't push it in place enough. You really do have to make sure that's all the way in the back so you have room for the one in front, which will so align it's always with resting. that fold. Yeah, it's always resting against the right. uh, cardstock. And then on this side. So I'm aligning the edge of that tab with the fold there. Push that in place, and now you have a distance between those two acetate panels, mm -hmm. so you really got some depth you can see through both of them like so. Right. Then what all that remains is removing the extra sticky tape from the top tabs. There we go. And this is the quarter inch extra sticky. That's right. quarter inch and a half inch, so this is quarter. And here is the panel ah. piece that goes on the front. You're going to start by removing this beautiful die cut which can be used <laughs> elsewhere. And should be used we know, elsewhere. I think we know the drill. We know that one pretty well. And then just line up the edges, the top and the bottom, and push it in place. And you have a beautiful little moonlit shadow box <laughs> card front and back. And the nice thing about this is you can go like this and flatten it and fit right. it in those envelopes. So the envelopes really do work with these as long as you flatten the box. Very, very nice. So you've got the kitty there, mm -hmm. and here is the uh, castle. And we did add, I'm not sure that you can see on camera, but we did add some of the gold jewel dazzles, just a little bit extra, and a, a bow, as you can right. see. So you can see the depth that you're going to get with this. And if you want to add a greeting on the front. Now, scrapbookers, we've not forgotten you, nor the kinds of uh, projects you'd want to do. And so here is one. Beautiful. And look at that color. Enchant Isn't that pretty? <laughs> it is. And it's enchanting. It's magical birthday wishes. And it is really magical with that big uh, castle there. Beautiful. Right. So the adorable scorable is this piece in the center. Right. And the borders are um, printed on it. So that's just one that's piece. That's great. And then it's got, it's about 11 and 3 quarters of an inch mm -hmm. long. So it's just perfect for giving a nice little mat on both ends of it. And then just adding those uh, gold jewel border dazzles along the top and bottom of it is a great finishing touch. And very fun to let those great big die cuts and the words, so magical birthday wishes. Right. Very fun way. Another border right here. Nice. Right. That's really nice going mm -hmm. on the edge of the photo and letting this overlap. And that's just one of the die cut pieces that you can just pop out mm -hmm. and set along the, ed the edge there. So that's really I nice. don't know about you, but I I know a little girl named Penelope who could use a page just like that. <laughs> so very, very be useful. Beautiful. So Twilight Kingdom Sunset Edition beautiful is what we've been colors. showing you. Beautiful and new colors, yeah. musical or uh, magical, enchanted. <laughs> and, and you can make six of those gorgeous. boxes, right? Six of them, right. yes you can. Okay, and we want to thank you for joining us for this entire week of webisodes. It's been very, very fun. Hunky Dory, great job again. It's and always fun to play with hunky dory stuff. And we'll see <laughs> See you next week for a regular webisode. Bye-bye.